नमस्कार वेलकम टू कॉन्वर्जेशन विद राकेश हेयर स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन राकेश सर यू हैव बिन टॉकिंग अलॉट अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड द क्वालिटीज ऑफ गुड स्पीकर्स बट यू हैव नेवर सेड हु आर योर फेवरेट स्पीकर्स सो कैन यू टेल अस योर फेवरेट स्पीकर्स यू नो आई ड्रेड सच क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू नो it is so difficult to pick the best speakers there are so many of them hundreds of them uh, but i will take that question and i will give you my five best speakers or my favorite speakers with a caveat that it doesn't mean these are the only five but i've selected these five based on two criteria that one criteria one is that their videos are available on youtube so all of you can watch it and criteria number two i have kept uh, one very important reason of why i selected these five which i will tell you in the end but the first important is uh, criteria is that their speeches are plentifully available on youtube that all of you can watch and the reason i say this is that there are many other great speakers orators uh, whose videos are not available that much on youtube uh, there are politicians leaders presidents businessmen uh, activists uh, thought leaders teachers they have written great speeches their speeches are documented in books and i'll show you one book which was given to me by my publisher when i wrote my i think second book um, this was uh, gifted by the publisher of that company a good friend of mine she would know when the moment she sees this book thank you for giving this book to me it has such amazing documented speeches of leaders of india my favorite is the speech of shatyajit ray the famous director and uh, that speech is absolutely mind blowing to read and i wish i was there in that room uh, watching him speak and he was not standing and uh, giving the speech as a orator the the chapter says that he was sitting down there was a lamp and he was reading his entire speech from pieces of paper that he had written and there was no drama no flair just reading out his thoughts in front of an audience and the audience was rapt attentive throughout the performance of speech i would give an arm and leg to be in that room but hey happened many many decades ago but these kind of books are available so coming to your question and before i go on to the question i must tell you that um there are 50 plus parameters that i have recorded in my phd uh, on what makes a great speaker and i've taken the view from audiences that what do audiences like and i documented that in this phd this this tome that you see thousands and thousands of word so there are like 50 plus parameters the style of speaking the relevance of the topic the time in which you are speaking the moods of the audiences the thoughts of the audiences the depth of the argument many 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 things put together these 50 parameters so anyway let me tell you my five top speakers that i have selected curated for you today ready my first great speaker that i really admire is a person i have heard personally uh, this is uh, sudha murthy ji uh, i love her books uh my daughters uh, read the books my son also read it and uh, i got the chance of listening to her speech live and uh, from the moment she came in that room i was surprised at how comfortable she makes everyone in the room and that's what i felt i felt at home it was like i knew her she made everybody relax she was not at all uh, overpowering uh leader kind of a person she was accessible humble and the quality that stood out was her humility and she talked so well she talked about how all of us should do something to uplift poverty of the people and i was very inspired and her oratory comes from her authenticity and her humility and she is such a funny speaker as well she'll make you laugh she'll make you think at least i had a great one hour and then i followed her on youtube i watched many of her speeches and the same thing comes out that whenever i see her youtube videos i feel comfortable i feel relaxed and the humility just stands out 
and she speaks very slowly very delicately not very overpowering her ideas are simple her stories are from the heart relevant and that makes her a great speaker that she she doesn't want to communicate in a way she is not comfortable with her communication comes from her identity and her humility and who she is and she brings it out in certain words for her audiences and in that i thought is my number one quality in good speakers which is their humility and sudha murthy ji's humility is like a gold standard in speaker so that's my first recommendation second atal bihari vajpayee ji uh the prime minister one of the prime ministers of india orator par excellence and the reason i like him is his command on the language especially uh hindi vernacular language and the way he speaks and i just love it when he closes his eyes thinks for like 2 3 seconds and the audience is like riveted to that silence because they know that the next sentence will be some very good sentence either he'll make you laugh or he'll make you think and there are two three speeches which are my favorite where he gives on the floor of the parliament where he really talks about um uh, concepts of togetherness that we are one we may have our differences but we are one and it is this quality that i really like in him that despite all the differences between people uh, he always says that we are one we are one nation nation so we should come together and solve our problems and that that ability of him to bring people together the power of language which is hindi or vernacular or anything that you have and the confidence with which he speaks and his pauses make him one of the finest orators uh, that our country has seen so that's my second great speaker atal bihari vajpayee ji third malcolm gladwell i think i must have binge watched almost all his videos uh i also would have heard most of his uh, podcasts revisionist history i also would have heard his books on audible so i am like one big fan of malcolm gladwell here's what i like about him first of all uh, his his entire background is so unconventional his entire expertise uh from his career perspective is that of a journalistic approach he's a great journalistic writer and uh, he has transformed that art into such a different new form of art which is he takes these tough concepts of social sciences politics sports cars movies and makes it so relevant for the audience and it is this nature of his oratory that i like a lot that the fact that he takes complex scientific and tough topics and makes it simpler for any audiences and the way he delivers it with lot of care lot of research sometimes you can see his notes and he's reading from it uh, especially one of my favorite speeches is the one he gives in university of toronto and he talks about the norden bomb site and he's reading the entire speech the depth of research the fact that he would have read hundreds of articles books and he's written on it such a deep research and the way it comes out to the audiences with a message is amazing oratory skill so that's my third favorite speaker because of his depth of research uh the way he takes that argument and makes it simple for any audiences and that's why he is one of my favorite speakers that's malcolm gladwell number 4 this speaker is has come to my attention recently but ever since i have seen him i have started to binge watch most of his lectures uh this speaker is an academician a uh, historian and his name is quentin skinner i stumbled on his google talk and i was sucked into it first of all his style of oratory is extremely academic sometimes tough like there are things i couldn't understand and to give you a perspective there were concepts that when i was a kid i would do like this that they went like a bouncer on top of my head so i i i was so attracted to the way he was talking about that concept that i said i must know more about what he's trying to speak and he was giving a lecture on one of the people who i researched when i was doing my research or my phd which is machiavelli 
and he was explaining a side of makhya valley that i didn't know and i couldn't even understand half of the lecture so i you know researched and read then there were many concepts i didn't understand he quoted a philosopher called hobbes and i was like okay let me research about hobbes and then he connected all of that and then it struck me that what an amazing insight uh, on something that i thought i knew machiavelli but the way he brought it out and the way he explained it in 30 minutes was something that shook my life and it changed the way i looked at machiavelli and many other concepts from medieval history so quentin skinner has many such videos heavy ones so if you love concepts of philosophy history justice and in one lecture i really liked his connection of how he connected communication and i am a communication buff he demystified how in the olden days communication was a very big part of education system but as of now it has kind of gone and i connect with that lecture a lot because i also feel the same problem but quentin skinner demystifies philosophy the concepts of freedom and liberty in a way that i have never experienced and it has opened my mind towards philosophy in a very different way so please watch quentin skinner and his videos and you'll my favorite one is the one he talks about machiavelli in google it's called google talks and there are two three more um, there is another lecture where he demystifies a famous play of shakespeare which is merchant of venice and he demystifies why uh, shylock lost the case and how uh, portia won the case and i thought it was such a spectacular analysis of justice from that perspective so please watch it if you can it's quentin skinner the last one fifth is hans rosling Hans Rosling has famous TED talks uh, he takes numbers and makes it interesting and uh, he's got a book also his book is factfulness which is right behind me if you have not read this book please read it very nice book um, what he does is he takes complex mathematics and statistics and explains it in a way that anybody in the world can understand so his TED talk is full of these fun things of graphs and bubbles and visuals and then if you look at his various videos especially he comes on television and he speaks in vernacular sometimes and he brings apples uh, toilet paper rolls some dice some dominoes uh, any device to make things easy he, he even takes like a dollar rupee dollar note and stacks them together just to give people a perspective of statistics and he is passionate he knows his subject his command on statistics is mind blowing and he's from a healthcare background imagine and he does it so effortlessly and this is one thing i like about him that he makes complex uh, mathematics easier for people like me who are not very mathematically gifted and he makes it interesting because of the creativity that he brings in so apples and oranges and toilet paper rolls to explain and demystify numbers so that's why i like hans rosling so let me summarize my five uh, great speakers uh, and give you a reason why i like them so much sudha murthy ji for her humility atal bihari vajpayee ji for his command on hindi language malcolm gladwell for making a complex uh, topic of social science easy through stories quentin skinner which have, who has introduced me to a world of philosophy and uh, shakespeare and communication and rhetoric from a different perspective of medieval history and hans rosling who has made me understand mathematics and statistics from a different perspective and now let me tell you why i also chose these five people and my request to all of you great speakers uh, who i like have one thing in common and there are many many more i think they are people who do not use the power of oratory and uh, power of words and charisma to create divisions in people i think all five of them and my i have like 20 30 more the consistent thread in all of them is that they are unifiers the main role of a great leader in today's 21st century is to unify all of us all of us are going through a big problem we have differences which are getting worse we have fights which are getting worse 
we can't even stand each other these days our opinions are killing our friendships and it is getting worse day by day and these five and many more are my choices because they unify all of us their words make us feel that we are part of a larger umbrella of humanity we may have our differences i may be an indian you may be a pakistani i may be a man you may be a woman i may be a hindu you may be a muslim i may be a russian you may be a ukrainian i may be an american you may be from some part of america which is very different all of these things are in front of us but i think it's time for us to realize that we are still one humanity and we have to come together and the power of words and leaders and oratory is that power that brings us together and should bring us together the science is also very dangerous great orators can also divide us which is what many of us are trying to do and please don't do it so my sincere request to all of you words and speakers and orators have power use this to unify the world it is okay to disagree but even in that disagreement we can respect each other we can respect that we are human beings and we can coexist together this world needs lot of us talking this language that hey we are one we can coexist you want this you want this it's possible to have both of these things and still like each other so on that note i hope you become great speakers and orators i hope you share your favorite speakers and i hope they are also unifiers because that's what we need more stay safe